It has always been a desire of mine to study medicine, ever since I was a small girl. For even then, I saw the needs of my people for a good physician. What does it take to heal a people? Sometimes I have to take a break, just burn a little and just say a little prayer, you know? I don't know what I'm gonna face when I walk through those hospital doors. If I don't do this, I will not become a physician. If I do become a physician, I may be able to take care of thousands of patients. I may be able to save hundreds of lives. When I first came here, I could be on call every other night and I could save lives, and I did. One of the lives she saved was that of her adopted son. When he was born, he had a lot of medical issues. He went through withdrawal. Uh, and he knows how to say what coffee. Uh, hey. mm. <laughs> coffee. What coffee? So that's his favorite word. That's why I feel that there's so much alcohol and drug use, because they don't have a center. The spiritual piece of us is so small. That spark is so tiny. Why don't I use what's right in my backyard? That's what kept us alive. I mean, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for our own medicine. She told me that I needed to pray, and so I used my beating, and it was really, it was really comfort, comforting. When a way of life is shattered, it's often the women who become the healers. Meet the first Native American doctor and the women who follow in her footsteps. <laughs>